Hello friends. In this tutorial, we are going to deal with the problem like not registered on network in your phone or a smartphone while accessing alert guys while accessing information in your SIM card while trying to access your SIM card or while trying to make a call to someone with your SIM card. If you are getting the error message like not registered on network a step by step all the possible solution that you can try in order to fix this issue. So let's begin. Home screen of your smartphone, click on apps. Somewhere you're going to see settings. Tap on settings. Once you tap on settings, somewhere you're going to look for backup and reset. Depending upon the brand and type of smartphone you're using, you might see some of the options looking different from this. Somewhere you're going to see reset or reset settings or factory reset. So I have a backup and reset option over here. So I just need to click on backup and reset. Once you click on backup and reset at the bottom, I have a three different options, reset settings, reset network settings and factory data reset. At first, you want to try these two options. You want to reset the settings and then you need to click on reset settings. Once you reset your settings, click on Reset network setting. Since you have a network problem, all right, guys, you have a SIM network, SIM card network problem. You are getting not registered on network issue. So it's very important. Reset network setting. Click on reset network setting. And then, guys, you need to choose the SIM card. Whether you want to, if you're using a multiple number of SIM card in your device, you need to choose whether you using the, if you're using the multiple number of SIM card, you have an option to choose which SIM card you would like to reset. So one by one, Sorry guys, for whichever SIM card you have a problem, you can choose the SIM card and you can reset the settings. Once you reset the settings, network settings, just get back. Once you get back guys, you have a factory data reset. So after trying these two options, go back and check if problem is solved. If issue is not solved, come back and do the reset. Okay guys, factory data reset. This will wipe out everything and your phone will be like newly purchased right all the apps that you have installed will be gone so you can do factory reset data reset at last if the problem is not solved by following these two couple of steps okay guys so this is the two steps that you can follow in order to fix the problem let me show you the another third step that you can follow third and the fourth step that you can follow go to the app section and then settings tap on settings Somewhere you're going to see mobile network. All right. That is a SIM card network. So click on mobile network. Once you click on mobile network, you have a multiple number of options over here. All right, guys, you have SIM 1, SIM 2. Let's say I have a two different SIM card. That is why if you have a one SIM card, you'll obviously have a one option. What you need to do, let's say you have a problem for SIM 1 or SIM 2. You just need to tap this and then guys, Choose the different options, right? LTE, 3G, 2G, 3G, 2G, 3G, or only 2G. Choose the different options alternatively and check. Restart your phone and check it if the problem is solved. You can choose the different options and you can try checking. Click on OK. In order to choose the different options. All right, guys. Try to choose the different options and check it if problem is solved. Whichever option is compatible with your device, you can keep that one. Along with this, you need to try one more steps. You can see guys, network operator. So from where you have purchased your SIM card, so network operator, click on network operator. Now you can search network and select automatically. All right. Try to search for the network manually. Okay. Even try selecting it automatically for the first time. If the issue is not solved, try to search for the network manually. All right, click on search network manually. It keeps on searching. Once it finishes to search, you can just select whichever SIM card you are using, whichever company SIM card you have purchased. You can select the network manually and then you can choose the options and you can restart your phone and get back and see if the problem is solved. So this was the third and the fourth step that you can follow. That you can follow. The fifth step that is really with the sim card slot so guys you can see you have a smartphone you just need to open the smartphone back portion maybe your sim card slot is loose all right so one reason maybe your sim card slot is loose your sim card 
it's not being able to fit properly into that so what you can do is you can just put the paper you can just put the piece of paper above your sim card slot sorry guys you can just put the piece of paper above your sim card and try to push the sim card inside this slot along with the paper so that there will be the pressure below and your sim card slot will be tight all right so maybe sometime it happens because of the loose sim card slot so you can use a piece of paper all right and even sometime you'll have a lots of dust so try to blow the sim card slot with with the air you can blow even with your mouth so clean it if you only have a problem with the sim card slot itself you just have to go to the repair shop and get the another sim card slot or maybe if you cannot replace the sim card slot you don't have a choice cards you have to change the phone so what you can do try to clean it with your mouth just blow the air inside it and all the dust will go if it is loose if it is not loose you don't have to follow this step if it is loose if your sim card is so loose in the slot you can just put the paper above it and try to push it inside and you can just fit it tightly all right you just need to fit it tightly inside it and then problem will be solved so this is the fifth step that you can follow if that you can try the sixth one what you need to do is just open it okay guys just open your smartphone just open it and then guys you can see here you have a battery what you need to do is you just on just leave your smartphone on do not turn it off and then you just try to remove the battery directly do not turn it off with the process just directly remove the battery and turn it off just try to remove the battery directly and turn off your smartphone and then you can just put the battery again and check if problem is solved this is the sixth step that you can try Once you put the battery back, just turn on the phone now. This was the sixth step that you can follow. The seventh one is the hard reset. So the hard reset will wipe out everything from your phone. So make sure before you hard reset, before you follow the hard reset step, you make sure that all the apps that you have installed, all the data that you have in your know, photos or anything in your memory card or in your or in your smartphone, be sure to remove the memory card before you do the hard reset. And then whatever data that you have in your a smartphone you know internal storage everything will be gone so guys hard reset is the final step that you can follow in order to fix this problem so guys how to do the hard reset still if the problem exists even after doing the hard reset you don't have a choice guys maybe problem is with the sim card itself or maybe network operator you can just contact the office nearby local office from where you have purchased your sim card you can go to the nearby office of the company support center or you can contact the service or support center of the office with some other sim card and you can just contact them that is only the final step that you can follow if the problem is not solved with following all these steps and even after the hard reset so guys let me show you how to hard reset your device finally okay guys doing this will wipe out everything from your smartphone if you have any audio video or image files in your internal storage you can move it to the external storage memory card or the sd card and you can just take that out because doing this will wipe out everything from your smartphone and your smartphone will be like newly purchased all your image audio video in the internal storage will be completely deleted so let's begin let me show you first at first you need to power off your smartphone so just turn it off so what you need to do is you can see this is a power button just press it and turn off so in whatever way you can turn off your smartphone just turn it off you can see it's turned off now so maybe you have a different brand smartphone so you just need to make a note what you have put the power button just make a note notice the power button volume up button and volume down button and this is the home button all right make a note of three things power button volume up and volume down button and then this power button 
If you're using some other smartphone for Samsung and some of the smartphone, you need the three button, you need power, volume up and home button. In some of the smartphone, you only need the volume up button and the power button. All right. So you can, for the Samsung, you need the three different button. For some of the other smartphone, if you're using some of the other smartphone, you can only try. If the three different button does not work for you, you can only try volume off button and then power button. So what you need to do is just press this volume off button with your one finger. And then guys, put your one finger right over here on this, like this power button. Just do not press it. Do not press it. Just put it on a power button. With one finger, just press this volume off button. At first, press the home button. All right. Now you can see you are pressing your volume up button and you are already pressing your power SI home button. Now finally keep on pressing volume up and then home button. And then finally you need to press continuously your power button. So keep on pressing the power button continuously. Just keep on pressing it. And you'll see this installing system update. So wait for a while. Sometimes you may not see this installing system update. You'll only see this Android logo. So just you need to get this Android logo and wait for a while. Okay, no command. Just wait for a while. So you may get this message sometime, not all the time, sometime. So in order to get this Android logo in some of the smartphone, you only need to press volume up button and then power button continuously. Do not stop. Even your smartphone turns on, keep on pressing continuously volume up button and power button in order to get that Android logo and then this is screen. You can see I just wait for a couple of minutes and then I got this screen. So in some of the smartphone, you don't have to wait for a couple of minutes. It just you'll just get this screen as soon as you follow the steps. So once you get this screen, you have lots of options over here. Just get down. So if you want to neglect it, guys, you can just power off or you can just reboot the system now. Or you can just remove the battery, put it back again and turn on your phone. You can do that if you don't want to follow the steps. You can see you have lots of options. What you need to choose is, choose is you can see here, wipe data factory reset. All right, wipe data factory reset. All right, choose this wipe data factory reset. All right, you can choose this with your volume up and volume down button. In order to confirm, you just have to press power button. This is for OK. Just click on this wipe data factory reset. In order to confirm, you can choose the volume up and down button for up and down. Select yes. Once you select yes, press this power button in order to confirm. Choose yes and press that power button. Now you can see guys, formatting, everything it is being formatted. Just wait for a while. Okay, you can see at the last data wipe complete. All right. Once you see this data wipe complete on the top, use this volume up and volume down button in order to choose reboot system now. On the top itself, guys, I have a reboot system now. You can say reboot system now. Let me show you on the top. You can say reboot system now. Select that and press this power button to confirm. All right. Now my system will be rebooted. So this process might take a couple of minutes. Just wait for a sec. Wait for a few minutes. Okay, guys, it took around 10 minutes for me. To reboot, now you can start like a new phone. Everything is new. You can select the language, you can start. You can do the Wi-Fi settings and all. Okay guys, finally, after all the steps, your phone will be like newly purchased. You can follow all the steps. You can set up your device and it will be like a newly purchased, everything wiped out. So follow these steps in order to hard reset your device. So guys, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for many more best video and update. Have a good day. Catch you in the next video.